Hi, this is Rachel Henson with HLTV. So you are here for the second part of our three-part series on mind, body, and soul. Today we are gonna be focusing in on soul. If you miss body and have a few extra minutes, go back and check it out. We gave some great tips that can help you live a healthier lifestyle. So today we're gonna talk about soul. So there are a lot of different um, religions and beliefs out there, but a lot of them all come from kind of the same thing as far as being kind to your neighbor. That's one of the main things that um, I had to learn and really practice. I promised to tell y'all the story of 30 days in Nicaragua with no electricity and no uh, running water. So it was a very trying time. That's how I got my 200 hour yoga certification to teach. But not everybody was on my same page and on my same level and they were very advanced compared to me. So every night I had to go to bed and pray to love my neighbor. They had very different views than me, very different thoughts, but we ended up all coming together. If it was Survivor, I would have not gotten kicked off the island as I was the only person that knew how to fix doors toilets and other things. Uh, there was a lot of feminism out there and they did not want to ask any men for help. So I became essential to them by just using the capabilities I have from, you know, learning from the farm and things like that. So some other things to help you just kind of grow the soul is gonna be serving other people. So I would recommend you wake up about 30 minutes early, start your day with a morning devotional or reading. Uh, I prefer the Duck Commander uh, Dynasty devotional. It starts out with a little bit about some duck hunting and then goes into a Bible verse and just sets my mood for the day. Your mood is going to affect everything. Everything you're putting into your body, whether that be music, whether that be reading, whether that be the news right now and all the unfortunate events that are happening to our world, I would recommend just kind of blocking that stuff out and maybe listening to a favorite podcast. My favorite podcast is actually called Unashamed and it's once again the Robertson family. I love Duck Dynasty and they talk about everything from Bitcoin to Jace Robertson learning how to use a, a metal detector and then they end with a little message about Jesus which I find for me really lightens my day and makes it a much better day for me. So other things you can also do listening to positive music is a great way just setting the tone for your day. So another thing that I really, really like is um, the way that when we started goat yoga, um, we were so blessed by everything the community actually won, came out and played with the goats. Uh, secondly, they were just so giving and so kind and so patient with us. So that's what we actually base Goat Yoga Houston on is a verse from Luke, um, to whom much is given, much is required. So whenever we did a class or anything like that, we did tithe to the church. That makes me feel good. Maybe you have a favorite organization or a favorite charity that you can give to. Once again, you're growing by serving others. Um, you will become the light of the world just like it's Said. And when we do yoga and we talk about that breathing, that big inhale and that nice exhale and that inner fire that we start burning, that's going to show if your soul is in the right place. It's going to show in the way you speak to people, the way you walk down the street and just sometimes the way that you handle things. So I would definitely recommend that. Um, other things with your soul are going to be maybe joining a charitable organization. Maybe joining, if you're into church, maybe joining a small group and getting to know things better, adding a reading to your daily um, devotional on top of that, or closing your night with reading your Bible or something else. So when I talked about the Nicaraguan days, we did study Patanjali, the eight limbs of yoga. And when I was reading it, there were so many things in there that were just even though I'm not into Patanjali and I don't believe everything he says because um, a lot of the thing is about worshiping the sun and things like that, I found a lot of my Christian values aligned with the same things he was saying. Be kind to your neighbor, love one another, don't overeat and just be a glutton. So there's a lot of things that a lot of different religions are all on the same really side on. They all want you to be kind to each other and really grow through serving other people.
So this is going to be our soul section of our three-part series on mind, body, and soul. If you want to, we are going to give you some extra links, maybe the podcast I listen to, and then also on our YouTube for Goat Yoga Houston, we have playlists you can listen to and other things like that. So one of the most important things for your soul is what you put into your mind. There are so many negative things coming our way, whether it be from social media, whether it be from the news. So I encourage you to turn that stuff off for a little bit. Maybe tune in to a podcast that really is uplifting for you. For me, mine is unashamed. The Robertson family cracks me up. Every once in a while we get Uncle Cy on there and then it ends with a nice little Bible story and that helps me grow through serving um, because I learn how to be a better person off that. There's also readings. I mentioned the Duck Commander devotional, but there's plenty of things no matter what you're going through out there. I even have a little card that has um, different things that you might be feeling that day with different Bible verses that can actually help you um, maybe reverse those negative feelings because your soul is all about what you take in. If you're taking in negativeness, you're going to put out negativeness. And what we want is we want happy people walking around, whether that's yogis, goat people, or just regular people. We want your soul shining through. And like I said, you will be the light of the world and it will show on your face, in your actions, and also just in your smile. Thank you so much for joining us for our second section of our three-part series. This part was about soul. I hope we gave you some awesome tips that makes you just grow through serving other people and helping other people. Don't forget to tune in for our third part of this series, which is going to be about the mind. So there's all kinds of things up in the mind, and we're going to try to sort out what makes you feel the best. So come back and check us out for part three of Mind, Body, and Soul, and we're going to talk about your mind. See you then.